के लिए अंक समाप्त हुआ नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग दिस इज आकाशवाणी एंड आई एम नरेश मागो विद न्यूज एट नाइन The headlines Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces setting up of national turmeric boards and Samakka Saraka Tribal University for Telangana Prime Minister leads the nation in mega cleanliness drive ahead of Gandhi Jayanti around 7 lakh events organized across the country under Swachhata Hi Seva Abhiyan Fourth edition of Fit India Swachhata Freedom Run launched in New Delhi and in hangzhou asian games india back two gold in athletics and one in shooting on day 8 medals tallied rises to 53 avinash mukund sable wins gold in 3000 meter men's steeplechase with asian games record timing of 8 minutes 19.50 seconds tajinder pal singh tour also clinches gold in men's shot put shooters Kainan Darius Chennai and Prithviraj Ton Diamond win gold in men's team trap event. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced setting up of a national turmeric board and Samakka Saraka Tribal University for Telangana. Speaking after inaugurating and dedicating several developmental projects at Mahboob Nagar this afternoon, he said the National Turmeric Board will extend help to all turmeric farmers. Kendra Sarkar ne haldi kisano ke hit ke liye aur unki avashyakta ko dekhte huye aur unke liye bhavi jo sambhavna hai use dekhte huye नेशनल टर्मरिक बोर्ड के गठन का निर्णय किया है नेशनल टर्मरिक बोर्ड सप्लाई चेन में वैल्यू एडिशन से लेकर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के कार्यों तक किसानों की मदद करेगा मिस्टर मोदी ऑल्सो अनाउंस्ड 900 हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज फॉर द ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी भारत सरकार तेलंगाना में मुलुगु जिले में एक सेंट्रल ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी की स्थापना करने का निर्णय कर लिया है और इस विश्वविद्यालय का नाम आदिवासी देवियां सम्मक्का सारक्का के नाम पर रखा जाएगा और इस पर करीब 900 करोड़ रुपए खर्च होंगे the prime minister dedicated to the nation and laid the foundation stones of several developmental projects worth over 13500 crore rupees these projects are related to road and rail infrastructure education health energy and electricity stating that the infrastructure development will augment economic activity in the region mr modi emphasized that these infrastructure and developmental projects will increase the employment opportunities and improve the lives of people referring to the food processing mega park he said it especially helps people of hanumkonda warangal khammam and mahboob nagar districts later addressing a public meeting at palamuru praja garjana mr modi assured that efforts are being made by the center to help out farmers of the state he said 10000 crore rupees have been spent through pm kisan samman nidhi in telangana Prime Minister Modi today led the nation in Swachhata Hi Seva Abhiyan by joining a mega cleanliness drive ahead of Gandhi Jayanti as part of the Ek Tarikh Ek Ghanta Ek Saath initiative for cleanliness people across the country today participated in a mega cleanliness drive on the clarion call of Prime Minister Modi Mr Modi had appealed to the citizens for one hour of shramdan for the cleanliness drive this morning to pay tribute to Mahatma Gandhi on the eve of his birth anniversary फिटनेस के लिए आप इतनी मेहनत करते हैं उसमें ये स्वच्छता अभियान कैसे मदद करेगा वातावरण को स्वस्थ रखना तो हमारा कर्तव्य है वो स्वस्थ तभी हम स्वस्थ हैं। हमारे सोनीपत में गांवों में कैसा है लोगों का स्वच्छता का विश्वास कैसा है अब ये थोड़ा सा ज्यादा ध्यान दे रहे हैं स्वच्छता की तरफ हाँ एक स्वच्छता का संदेश क्योंकि मैंने देखा है की धीरे धीरे देश में स्वच्छता के लिए सबकी रुचि बन रही है परिवार में छोटे बच्चे भी अपने दादा को कहते हैं गंदा मत करो एक अच्छा वातावरण से भी 
चलिए अंकित बहुत बढ़िया काम कर रहे हो आप Citizens from all walks of life took part in cleaning activities at public places including market spaces railway tracks water bodies tourist locations and places of worship across the country In the national capital BJP president JP Nadda union ministers Bhupender Yadav Dharmendra Pradhan Dr Jitendra Singh Hardeep Singh Puri Meenakshi Lekhi Rajiv Chandrasekhar and other leaders participated in Swachhata Abhiyan Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur said that the Modi government has built 12 crore toilets within just 3 years. More than 7 lakh events took place today for the mega cleanliness drive across the country. Over 6 lakh 40000 sites were adopted for shramdaan from urban and rural India under this drive. President Draupadi Murmu and Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar have, agree- have greeted the nation on the eve of Gandhi Jayanti, the 154th birth anniversary of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. In a message, the president said, "Mahatma Gandhi's ideals of truth and non-violence paved a new way for the world." She said, "Mahatma Gandhi not only fought for non-violence throughout his life, but he also took up the cause of cleanliness, women empowerment, self-reliance, and farmers' rights, and fought against untouchability, social discrimination, and illiteracy." Vice President Dhankar said Bapu's relentless pursuit of freedom and equality remains a beacon not just for India but for the global community. Minister of State for Youth Affairs and Sports Nishit Pramanik today launched the fourth edition of the Fit India Swachhata Freedom Run at the Major Dhyan Chand National Stadium in New Delhi. The campaign will be held till the 31st of this month. It aims to encourage fitness and help people get freedom from obesity, laziness, stress, anxiety and diseases. Citizens will be urged to include 30 minutes of physical fitness in any form and celebrate achievements of their active lifestyle with a clarion call of Swachh Bharat Swasth Bharat. The Fit India Freedom Run 4.0 is proposed to culminate with a unity run in Kevadiya Gujarat on 31st October. It was conceived in 2020 when the entire nation started following social distancing as a new lifestyle norm. The first edition of the campaign was held from 15th August to 2nd October 2020 in virtual mode. In Rajasthan the election commission has completed all the required preparations for the ensuing assembly election. The full team of election commission has expressed satisfaction over the preparedness. Chief election commissioner Rajiv Kumar has made an appeal to the youth and women voters to go for the poll at the maximum extent. Addressing a press conference in Jaipur today, he said that 21 lakh 90000 people are first time voters in the state. अगर इसमें हम यूथ की बात करें जो वोटर्स हैं तो राज्य भर में 21.9 लाख फर्स्ट टाइम वोटर्स हैं जो 18 से 19 साल के हैं पिछले वर्ष से आपको अवगत है एक अमेंडमेंट लाए थे एक कमीशन कि फर्स्ट जनवरी ऑफ द ईयर वाज द डेट एलिजिबल फर्स्ट जनवरी को 18 साल होती थी उसी को वोटिंग का अधिकार में हम इलेक्टल रोल में डालते थे अब उसको चार बार कर दिया गया उस क्वार्टर की वजह से 6.31 लाख वोटर्स हैं यूथ जो इस बार के इलेक्शन में पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे बिकॉज ऑफ दिस क्वालिफाइंग डेट्स दिस इज आकाशवाणी गिविंग यू द न्यूज फॉर क्विक न्यूज अपडेट्स राउंड द क्लॉक फॉलो अस ऑन आवर ट्विटर हैंडल एट एआईआर न्यूज अलर्ट्स Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh tomorrow. In Rajasthan, Mr Modi will dedicate to the nation and lay the foundation stones for various development projects worth about 7000 crore rupees in Chittorgarh. During his visit, he will dedicate the Mehsana Bhatinda Gurdaspur gas pipeline built at a cost of about 4500 crore rupees. He will also dedicate the LPG plant of HPCL at Abu Road. In Madhya Pradesh, Prime Minister Modi will lay the foundation stone and dedicate to the nation multiple development initiatives worth around 19,260 crore rupees in Gwalior. He will dedicate to the nation the Delhi Vadodara Expressway and will also lay the foundation stone for five different road projects. 
Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh has said that India needs stronger armed forces with modern equipment to become a developed nation by 2047. He said Defence Accounts Department will play a crucial role in realising this vision of Prime Minister Modi. Mr Singh said this while launching several digital initiatives of Defence Accounts Department during its 276th annual day celebrations in New Delhi today. The India Meteorological Department, IMD, has forecast very heavy rainfall over Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha and Chhattisgarh tomorrow. Heavy rainfall is also likely over Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura and Arunachal Pradesh during the next three days. The weather office has also predicted heavy rainfall over Kerala tomorrow. India's sportsperson shone on day 8 of Asian Games in Hangzhou, taking the overall medals tally to 53 today. The medals tally includes 13 gold, 21 silver and 19 bronze. More from our sports desk. It was raining medals for India on day 8 of Asian Games in Hangzhou. Overall, 15 medals were added, including 3 gold, 7 silver and 5 bronze. 2 gold were won in athletics with one game's record. India ended shooting events today with best ever games performance, winning overall 22 medals, including 7 gold. Day's biggest achievement was in athletics when Avinash Mukund Sable created Asian Games record in 3000 meter steeplechase with the timing of 8 minute 19.5 seconds, bringing home the coveted medal. Sable expressed his joy after winning the medal. <laughs> In short put, Tejinder Pal Singh Tour defended his gold with a throw of 20.36 meters in men's final. In racing, Harmilan Bains won the silver in women's 1500 meter, while Ajay Kumar Saroj won the silver men's event. Jinson Johnson won the bronze in the same event. In women's hurdle race, Jyoti Yarraji won silver after a contentious match. In long jump, Sri Shankar's leap was long enough to bring home the silver. Nandini picked the bronze medal in women's heptathlon and Seema Punya in discus throw. The third gold of the day was won in shooting with the team of Kenyan Deres Chennai and Prithviraj Tondaiman topping the men's trap event. Women shooters won silver in the same event. A bronze also came in the men's individual trap. Another big achievement for India came when in women's individual golf event, Aditi Ashok bagged the silver medal. First ever Indian woman golfer to do so. However, there were some heartbreaks too. In boxing, Nikha Zareen had to settle with the bronze in 50 kilogram category after losing the semi-final bout, while Indian men's badminton team settled for the silver, losing to China 3-2. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur have congratulated the medal winners. With Tripti Srivastava's report, this is Resh Tiwari, Sports Desk. The Central Reserve Police Force, in collaboration with the Ministry of Women and Child Development, will organize a bike expedition with Yashaswini, a group of CRPF women bikers, to celebrate women power of the country. A total of 150 women CRPF officers of three teams will embark for the cross-country rally on Tuesday. In our bilingual live phone-in program, Public Speak, tomorrow at 9.30 p.m., we will bring an insightful discussion on the topic of digital registration of births and deaths with Sanjeev Kumar, Additional Registrar General of India. During the program, listeners can ask questions to our expert about various aspects of the digital registration of births and deaths, including registration procedures, required documents, timeline of application and more. To participate, simply dial the telephone number 011-237-17106 and 011-233-1444 from 9.30pm onwards tomorrow. Alternatively, you can also send your queries via WhatsApp to the number 928-90-94044. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announces setting up of National Turmeric Board and Samakka Saraka Tribal University for Telangana. Prime Minister leads the nation in mega cleanliness drive ahead of Gandhi Jayanti. Around 7 lakh events organized across the country under Swachata Hi Seva Abhiyan. Fourth edition of Fit India Swachata Freedom Run launched in New Delhi. 
and in Hangzhou Asian Games, India bagged two gold in athletics and one in shooting on day eight. Medals tally rises to 53. Avinash Mukund Sable wins gold in 3000 meters men's steeplechase with Asian Games record timing of 8 minutes 19.50 seconds. Tajinder Pal Singh Tour also clinches gold in men's short put. Shooters Kainan Darius Chinai and Prithviraj Tondaiman win gold in men's team trap event. That is all in the news at 9. Good night.